thousands of Scottish homes are without power as a weather bomb storm hits western coastal areas. Electricity has been cut across the Western Isles, affecting 17,000 homes, and there is other disruption including train and ferry cancellations. The Met Office has warned parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland to be prepared as the rapidly developing storm threatens gusts of up to 80 miles per hour. Wind speeds are expected to peak on Wednesday afternoon and early evening. BBC weather presenter Carol Kirkwood said it would be a wild day from North Wales northwards, while it would be blustery further south. Explosive cyclogenesis, known colloquially as a weather bomb, is when a storm intensifies as the pressure at its centre drops rapidly, by more than 24 millibars in 24 hours. Pretty bad. Speaking from Barra in the Outer Hebrides, Donald MacLeod, coxswain of the island's lifeboat, said there was rain, hail and plenty of wind. He said the storm had grown through the night, adding, the swell conditions are pretty bad to the west, it's showing about 14 meters, 45 feet. Mr. MacLeod said this was a lot deeper than we normally see and was definitely something to be wary of. Power supplier Scottish and Southern Energy said the problem affecting the Western Isles was caused by lightning, and homes should be reconnected during the morning. Western Isles Council said all schools would be closed, along with many other facilities. Many schools in the Highlands are also closed. In Aberdeenshire, about 20 vehicles got stuck in icy conditions on the B974 Barncree to Fettercorn Road. A gritter was sent and the vehicles were later freed. Ahead of the forecast storms, ferry operator Caledonian McBrain warned of severe disruption to its services. In other developments, the Stromness lifeboat was sent to aid a Spanish fishing boat which called for help after being hit by a large wave off Orkney. The lifeboat is escorting her to safety. Irish ferries cancelled some services between Holyhead and Dublin. P&O's services between Lunn and Cairnryan have delays of at least two hours. Stornoway Coast Guard said the sea state could become phenomenal, a term used to describe the worst conditions. Northern Ireland Electricity warned of a possibility of damage to the network in exposed areas, with its emergency crews and engineers put on standby. The Met Office's Amber Be Prepared warning is in effect for the Northern Isles, Western Isles where all schools and nurseries will be closed, the North and West Highlands and Argyll, as well as the far north of Northern Ireland. There is also a less severe yellow warning covering the rest of Scotland and Northern Ireland, as well as North Wales and Northern England. Numerous flood warnings and alerts have also been issued, mostly in Scotland. Gusts of more than 60 miles per hour, 95 kilometers per hour, have been recorded in Northern Ireland, where the speed limit on the Foyle Bridge in Derry has been reduced to 30 miles per hour. A second storm front is expected to track across the country overnight on Thursday, the Met Office said. It said there could be gales and a band of heavy rain across much of England and Wales during the first half of Friday, which could then push eastwards before easing in the early afternoon. Network Rail said some services in Scotland would be cancelled due to the weather. These are the services from Inverness to Wick, Kyle of Lochalsh, Glasgow Queen Street to Oban, Fort William, Malig, Dumbarton Central to Helensborough Central, Glasgow Central to Largs, Ardras and Harbour and Glasgow Central, Kilmarnock to Air, Stranra. The company said replacement bus services would be considered, but these were dependent on road conditions. Scotrail said services had started quite well on Wednesday morning. But Operations and Safety Director Jacqueline Day said, We have had a number of lightning strikes, which has caused some disruption on the Edinburgh Glasgow Central via Shots Line in the Perth area. A Calmac ferry spokesman said severe weather along the west coast on Tuesday had caused extensive disruption to its services, with further cancellations expected. Richard Brown, of the Scottish Environment Protection Agency, said Cthness, Sutherland. The Western Isles, Orkney and Shetland were at the greatest risk of coastal flooding as the storm front hit. Argyll and Butte, the Firth of Clyde, Clyde Estuary and Dumfries and Galloway could also be affected, 
he said.